So the piece that I made for House 2013 is called Aria, and um, the idea that I wanted to explore was um, exploring the physical and metaphorical boundaries of the, the body and the landscape and water and air. And so I worked with um, a soprano and a free diver, both people who are um, used to using the breath in a very acute way in their practice. And I guess I'm interested in the idea of the breath being this uh, link, this thread between the interior and the exterior of the body and the landscape. So it's just kind of thinking about these two um, spaces. And so I recorded the, uh, the singer. We, we found a piece together called Supir, which is uh, by Deepak, and it's interpreted as Sai, which obviously is a, um, a great reference to the breath. And we recorded it, we decided to take out the words in the song, so we just concentrate on the vowels and how the, the air is resonating in the body. And we also slow the piece right down, so it's broken down into these very distinct phrases. And then um, we used the, in the recording underwater with Lear the Frida, the Lear Philip, we recorded it in a pool and used the, the track, the piece that we recorded, it was the, um, the tempo of the piece, so we then developed movements in the water uh, that responded to the piece. I was actually a diver before I started doing photography, um, but then I did a photography degree at the University of Brighton, and in the summer between the first and second year, I went on a marine conservation course, just because I wanted to, to do the course and to dive for like four or five weeks in Indonesia. But because I was doing a photography degree, I decided to, I just bought a cheap um, film underwater camera and took it with me on the trip and that's really where I started getting into it, just um, photographing in that space and how everything completely changes when you're underwater and it really captivated me. And so I carried on doing the underwater photography when I got back to uni and kind of focused on it on my, on my BA course. And I didn't get into filming until my MA, um, which I completed in 2011. So in, in ARIA, I was interested in um, combining or working with the two spaces of water and air. And so um, the, the pool that I used to shoot the underwater footage is uh, a, a pool in South London. And I was really interested in um, this is a space and how um, it becomes, when it's turned upside down architecturally, it becomes like this kind of quite interior landscape. And so I wanted to bring the two spaces together. So uh, the idea of a shipping container is that it is this self-contained space and it's quite um, immersive. So it's on, the, on Brighton seafront, there's kind of quite a lot of noises going on outside, it's quite a busy seafront, but then when you step inside, uh, you can't become immersed in this space. And so uh, we projected the video onto this screen, which is semi-transparent, so you can see uh, the container uh, behind the screen as well. So it's bringing the two spaces of the, of the pool and the container together. A lot of the challenges really everything um, the quality of the, from the quality of the water um, that can vary massively so the amount of visibility the water is obviously moving um, the way that you move in the water is very different light and sound behave very differently so everything kind of changes really um, and yeah but I guess the conditions of the water are a kind of key key problem. Next for me, after House 2013, is an exhibition in Bremen, in Germany, at the Gerhard Marx House. And it's a three-man show with myself and two other sculptors, all who explore the body within space and this idea of the surface, uh, the body of the surface in space. And I'm developing an installation called Heartbeat. And it's again working with Liv the Frida in Aria. And we uh, filmed the piece last year, and in the piece, uh, I had a, a system developed where the light of a flash fires in response to her heartbeat. For Liv, when she goes underwater, her heart rate drops during a breath hold. Her heart rate drops from one beat every second to one beat every three seconds. So there's a real dramatic drop in her heart rate in order for her body to remain underwater for an extended period of time. So I was really interested in exploring this. So the piece will be an immersive um, installation within a museum where the viewer physically and sonically experiences this dramatic shift in the, in the body as, as lives um, underwater.